We're ready to begin our tech talk today on creating PAX files, essential NX CAM customization. Our presenter today is Yahia, who is located in our Cincinnati office. And here's a little bit about Yahia. He has over six years of experience in aero engine component manufacturing industries, specifically on CAM and CNC machining. Throughout his career, he has worked as a CNC machinist, a CAM programmer, and a manufacturing engineer. Welcome, Yahia. The Tech Talk is now yours. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ProLim's Tech Talk. Today, we are going to see how creating a PAX files uh, can be a useful, essential NX CAM customization for your daily specific needs. So let's go ahead and take a look how we can create, modify our PAX files. So if you go at the file new option here, uh, you can see there are a lot of tabs that are visible in the gateway application. Those are uh, basically controlled by the PAX files. So if you uh, want to edit some of those uh, tabs or maybe some of those entries that you see over here, you can also do that by the means of PAX files. Uh, you can edit and create a new tabs in this gateway application so that you can take a look at it. So let's go ahead and see. So these, uh, the PAX files are located in our C drive under Mac folder under templates. So you can see the, the prefix UGS uh, PAX files are uh, useful for our native CAM application that is native NX version. And um, the other files which has a prefix of NXDM can be useful for the team center purposes as well. So we can run it in both uh, native and um, manage environments as well. So let us go ahead and take a look how we can do that first. So I do have a template that I already created. Um, so I've created a basic 2D uh, machine setups so that I can show you how we can copy those um, resources and uh, library and template part folders to our NX CAM environment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first copy these uh, files into our NX installation folder and make sure you do have administrative privileges. So without that, these things gonna not work. So first I would recommend you to uh, get the privileges from your IT department. And let's copy this metric folder to our NX installation. So my installation is on the C drive. Yours might be on a server or might be on a different folder. So I would suggest you to take a look at that first. I'm gonna paste that in the 23.12 version right now. Under Mark folder, resources and template part in the metric. So I'm gonna just paste over here. So once I've pasted, I can see all those my machines are available in this folder. It means now I do have my part files located in the template part folder, which can reciprocate my template part files. So what I will do next, I will go ahead and copy the other folders that I do have. So I'm gonna go back to my folder. Go ahead and copy these machines. So in this, you can see there are two different folders. One is ASCII and one is installed machines. Let me go ahead and copy my installed machines. So these contains the post processor and DAT files and also some of the graphics. And in the ASCII, um, we will find our database file. So which is basically looks like this. It's a database file which contains uh, all the data of our machines that we are going to install. So we can directly edit, uh, I mean, create this when we are creating that. And that is a, a different topic, by the way, but I'm gonna just showing you the overview of how to copy these uh, database file into our NX installation folder. So let us copy this line to our NX installation folder where this ASCII folder is located. Let me navigate to that. It is under resources library machine and there you'll find those two options here so in this you will find the 
out of the box machines that comes with the NXT for installation. And in the ASCII folder, you can find the database. So let me open the database and copy uh, the database that I have created and copy those lines over here. Make sure you you get all those lines that mentioned so that you'll um, not be solved any of the single word here. I'm gonna copy these first two lines and paste it to my machine database folder, which is located in my installation files. I'm gonna copy all those lines that are mentioned because I do have uh, five different machines. So obviously I, I will be having a different a database lines that I need to paste. Let me paste that as well. So you can directly copy and paste uh, with the last line that I mentioned. You can see whenever I uh, add a new line, the, the sequence number changes. So you will have a better idea on it, where to paste it. So I'm left with three machines, turn mill and lathe. So let's copy the turn mill and paste it to our database folder. And let's also do that at the rest of the two late machines so that all those files are get copied and pasted into our NX installation folder. So once we are done with the pasting, let's re-verify uh, we got everything that we need with our with our old file. Sounds like we are in a good shape here. All right, so let us go ahead and save this file since we got everything pasted. And we have everything what we need. So let us uh, copy and paste our machines here, which contains the post processor and the graphical uh, data. Let us paste that in install machines where you have all those out of the box templates. And since we pasted, you can you can able to see our files over here. So we have done with the ASCII, we have done with the installed machines. Let's go, go ahead and take a look at our PAX file. That is an XCAM set setup template. So this is how the PAX file looks. It contains the XML data. It has the open uh, palette box, which says uh, the op opening quotation mark and the closing palette box with the forward slash. So uh, in this open and close box, all those entries that you, you uh, enter would be saved in between these and each of the entries has its unique ID. Uh, so the unique ID should be uh, in any format, num numerical or alphabetical, and each entry has uh, its own name and all, all the file locations that it contains. So you need to make sure uh, the file name and all those uh, information are uh, right in the place so that it fetch those details uh, whenever this um, template has been called out. So you can also enter description in this case. Uh, I mean, what all the uh, information that you need to put into that, you can uh, enter into this uh, column over here. And you can also uh, save the image of it so that it can preview it on the gateway application. So since we have done this, let us uh, uh, go ahead and take a look at, uh, look at what are the information that it contains. It contains uh, the, the master model uh, information as well. If you want to use master model in your template, you can turn it on with an X command. And you can also uh, mention the units here, metric or inches. And so uh, the, the palette entries also has uh, uh, the same uh, open and close brackets. So let us copy this and paste into our NX installation folder, which would be located under Mac folder templates. 
and then you can paste right over here. So once you've pasted, let us go ahead and uh, restart our Annex and let's see that if we uh, get our new Annex Cam Setup Templates uh, tab on the Gateway application. So our Annex is up and running now. I have restarted it. Let us go ahead and check with the new file over here. And in the Gateway application, now you can able to see our Annex Cam Setup Templates that we have created. So this information, like I show, shown you in the previous PAX file, which we have edited uh, the XML. So you can see this each entries represents that palette entries that I shown you. Each of them has uh, different names. Let me toggle this so that you can see the differences, how this pa palette entries information are uh, uh, pulling up from our XML file. So the setup templates name is getting pulled from the presentation over here. And you can also see each entry in this case, the first entry, uh, the ID and the presentation name is uh, getting pulled to this name column over here, which is to access slate single spindle upper turret. So that is what uh, this information is gathering up and the other information also uh, available to do that. So let me go ahead and uh, modify this uh, XML file. I'll go ahead and copy in an existing palette entry and I'll paste it at the bottom and I'll uh, rename it so that we can see those changes on the gateway application. I'm going to say my setup template in this case. And then next I'm going to change my name as well so that it matches to my palette entry ID. Let me do that as well. All right, since we have done with that, let us uh, also uh, change our description. The test. That looks good for now. Let us go ahead and save this file and restart our annex. So now I have restarted my annex and let's see uh, the changes that we made are getting reflected or not. Go to the new files under our NX cam setup templates. Now you, you will be able to see once you change the relationship to all, you can see the my setup template, the entry that we have added into our XML file, which is a PAX file. You can also see the description that we mentioned uh, in the XML file. So this is how you can make changes to your uh, setup templates with the help of PAX file. PAX files are very powerful so that you can utilize it any way that you want. In this case, I only showed you how I can uh, uh, by creating a 2D representation of my uh, machine setup templates, but you can also do a lot of things with that if you want to create a sequence of operations and create that as in a template, you can also do that with the help of PAX files. Thank you for joining uh, today's Tech Talk. I hope you like it. Uh, if you want to see uh, any uh, further future topics, you can email us at usmarketing at prolim.com and website at prolim.com. Uh, 